Peter Diamandis is the CEO of XPRIZE. He believes the fastest way to become a billionaire is to help a billion people. Mm -hmm. He's the co-author of a new book. It is called Bold, How to Go Big, Create Wealth, and Impact the World. It is published by Simon & Schuster, a division of CBS. Welcome. Charlie, pleasure to be here. Good to have you. Tell me once again what the XPRIZE is. The XPRIZE is a realization that around the world, entrepreneurs can do the most extraordinary things today. And we put out large cash goals, 5 million, 10 million, 30 million, for the first person to pull it off, to actually demonstrate and do something. And it incentivizes people around the world to take action and to take risky approaches and to try things that were tried before. And it's worked? It's worked uh, many times. Mm -hmm. You know, Lindbergh crossed the Atlantic in 1927 to win a $25,000 prize. It was, I read that book and said, my God, that's the way we can get yeah. a lot of things done. In, in 2004, we had put up a $10 million prize that was won for the first private team to build a spaceship to fly people 100 kilometers into space. The so Ansari why are you XPRIZE. offering a prize to go to the moon? Yeah. Well, on the heels of that, uh, Larry Page, uh, Sergey Brin, Eric Schmidt are all backers of the X Prize. Larry's on our board of trustees. We were having a meeting at Google, uh, a board meeting, and I said, so what do you want to do next? And I said, I think the next thing that entrepreneurs could do after flying people into space is actually get us privately to the moon and get there 10 times or 100 times cheaper. And uh, Google put up $30 million of prize money for the first team to build a robotic lander, land on the moon, send back photos, YouTube videos, if you would, and then rove a half a kilometer and do it again. Uh, and it's really about having humanity be able to explore space cheaper, faster, where it's not just a couple of governments, it's a lot of people. You went around and you talked to some of the wealthiest men in the country, Elon Musk, Larry Page, uh, Richard Branson, Jeff Bezos. And, and that's all well and good, but you say anybody can change the world, and that's really what you want people to know when you've written the book Bold. Yeah, my, my goal is the inspiration that, uh, you know, a thousand years ago it was only the kings and queens who could do anything on a national or regional level. A hundred years ago it was the robber barons, the industrialists. Today it's all of us. Anyone who's truly passionate, driven by a, a massively transformative purpose, can go and make a change in the world. And this book is sort of the how-to manual, both how you can access technology. You don't need to be a technologist. We're in a world where there are lots of technologists. You need to have the passion and drive. Maybe you're a great marketer. Maybe you're a great writer. Maybe you're a great organizer. And then there's mindsets, you know, moonshot thinking. And then there's tools, crowdfunding, you know, incentive competitions. These are the things that allow us all to really make an impact for things we care about. And I wanted entrepreneurs to know this is your manual on how to do that. Now, he's yeah. got a thing. I, I love your Peter's rules. I, I won't read them all, but one of my favorites, number 11, no simply means begin one level higher. Yeah. You, you're just a person that doesn't take no, and you said don't be afraid to fail. Yeah, it's, you know, uh, most people are empowered to tell you no. Yeah. And sometimes you need to climb up the chain, you know. But I, then that pisses a person off who told you no. It does, but if you are driven by your passion and purpose, that's okay because your mission is to help people to go make things happen. And the day before anything is truly a breakthrough, it's a crazy idea. Yeah. 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 Right? So where are we trying crazy ideas? I have a seven-year-old who won't take no for an answer. <laughs> <laughs> so I have high hopes that she'll go bold and do, and, and do great things. You, you have an MD from Harvard yeah. Medical School. How did you get into this? Um, you know, my calling since my childhood has been space flight. Mm -hmm. And uh, my father's a physician, my mom could have been, she runs ran his office. And so it was like, I'm gonna go and make my parents happy, become a doctor, but my true calling was space flight. And I gave up on NASA being the way that was gonna get me there privately. And that has driven me. So other than space here on Earth, what's some of the most interesting stuff that's being done that you think is bold, as your book says? Well, I, I mean, moon there's moonshot kind of stuff. Moonshot moon stuff, right? Stuff so I'm thinking, yeah. uh, we just launched a couple of X Prizes. We just launched the Global Learning X Prize, asking people to build a piece of software that can operate on any Android tablet that takes a child anywhere on the planet from illiteracy to reading, writing, and numeracy in 18 months. We have a billion illiterate people. We have the Qualcomm Tricorder X Prize. Build a device that's for a mom or a dad at two in the morning when their kid is sick mm -hmm. that can tell you what's wrong, a diagnosis. Again, it's the idea wow. of, of providing literacy and health to the world at a global level. And these things are possible right now during mm -hmm. our lifetime. Is crowdsourcing uh, uh, inspiration for uh, getting things done? It is a mechanism. So in this hyper-connected world, right, we just saw uh, uh, Paul Jacobs and Richard Branson on one side and Larry Page and Elon Musk on the other side announce these global 
satellite networks for connecting a megabit right. to the, the world, internet around the world. Oh. internet around the world. And so we're going to go to 7 billion people connected on the planet. Thank and you, these 7 Peter. billion can do amazing things. Thank you. Peter. Be bold, Peter. 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 Thank Be bold. you so bold. much. It's a pleasure. Bold goes on sale today, and tomorrow Jeff Bezos will be here in Studio 57 for a rare interview. He'll be joined by Jeffrey Tambor. That's next.